So this is the Kerbal Space Program 2 video that I did not want to make. There's a very specific reason for that. I don't like complaining about games. But over the weekend, something happened here. There was a development update which gave some, well, in my opinion, my personal opinion, that is some very disappointing news. What's happened? Well, the development team are going to slow down the release cadence of updates. These are the patches that are being issued to fix bugs and to fix performance. Now, so far, we've had two such patches. These have come in fairly close proximity to each other, maybe a gap of three to four weeks between each other. It means that since the game released back in February, we have had two such updates so far. And people were largely expecting the third update to come along uh, very, very soon. But it turns out that's not going to be the case. It's going to be somewhat delayed. Well, delayed, I don't think, is perhaps the right way of saying it because it's not been pushed back. The release cadence has been slowed down. Let's jump over to the forums to read the community post so that you know exactly what's going on. We have the correct words. I don't have to then uh, summarize. So this post is from Nate Simpson, creative director of Kerbal Space Program. We got a little bit of a summary here on the introduction, just going through what happened with patches 0.12 and some clarification confirmation that developers are still working towards patch 0.13, which will be the third bug fix patch. Now, this is the subject. This is the sentence, the paragraph that really does get our attention. On the subject of updates, our update cadence is going to slow down a little bit. There are a couple of reasons for this, not least of which is that every time we release an update, we divert resources that would otherwise be focused on continuing to improve the game. So this is, in my opinion, a very, very awkward sentence. It seems to be saying that they're slowing down on the patch updates on improving the game because when they do these updates, it kind of diverts attention away or work away from improving the game. So they can't improve the game because what well, they're trying to improve the game. That's a very awkward sentence. I think what Nate is trying to say here is that they're going to slow down on the minor patches. That's the bug fixes and performance improvements so they can instead focus on larger scale patches, such as the upcoming science update. Now, I'm hopeful. I would really hope that um, that means the science update is going to have some big bug fixes as well as some uh, big performance improvements, because God knows the game really does need that. But the downside is that it means the bugs that we've got at the moment, the uh, game breaking bugs, game breaking bugs in some cases, and the terrible performance is going to continue. We're going to have to put up with that for a while longer yet. So let's continue with this post. We are always balancing our desire to improve the current early access experience against the long-term goals that involve more time investment. So that pretty much clarifies the awkward sentence before. This is a very personal issue for me, because as a fan, I want the game to be perfect and awesome right now, and it's not. But since genies don't actually exist, that's not how we'll arrive at the best version of KSP2. Now, this I do have a little bit of an issue with the best version of KSP2. Well, what is the best version? This is an early access game, so uh, the best version will be at somewhere towards the end of the roadmap or the later stages of the roadmap. When we've got colonies in, when we've got interstellar travel in, and when we've got all the other content in as well, science, well, not to mention science. So that, of course, will be the best version of KSP2. And... Yes, the developers do have to work towards that because this is an early access title. However, another way of interpreting this, the best version of KSP2, is that each release of KSP2, each stage that it's released at, should be the best possible version that could possibly exist. So that means that when the game come out into early access at late February, that should have been the best possible version that would have been available at that time. Players, of course, would expect there to be a lack of content because it is an early access title. They would expect there to be some bugs and perhaps some performance issues. But the game was in terrible state. Fortunately, KSP has a wonderful community. A lot of people were very patient with that. Uh, it's an early access title. KSP1 started out in pretty poor shape. It eventually improved. Why would this not happen with KSP2? Now, the issue I've mentioned there before is that 
but uh, they have charged full price more or less for this 50 pound is very expensive for an early access title especially for one which is in such poor state now the reason i didn't want to make this video is because i don't want to dwell on problems i do think that eventually ksp2 will be in a good state i do think the developers are very passionate about the game i think the community that's still around for the game does love it also and for those who have wandered off in the meantime i'm sure they will be back later on when we get the other updates but my issue the problem i do have with the way things stand at the moment is uh, intercept games and private divisions of vagueness about what's going on they've not really acknowledged the terrible performance they've not acknowledged the game breaking bugs they've said yes they realize the game does need some uh, fixing it does need some improvement but come on this is beyond the pal the game is in a very bad state now that's not to say it's not playable if you've got patience if you've got perseverance if you are a fan of ksp and stick with it if you are a fan of early access games and stick with it yes there is some fun to be had but this is contrary to the idea of ksp2 being the best possible version it can be like i say there's two ways that sentence can be taken the best possible version that of the game that will exist at the end of the roadmap and the best possible version of the game that should by rights exist with every update and every release that's not to say that it should be perfect with every update and every leave release but you know come on acknowledge the problems that exist and yeah come on but since genies don't actually exist i don't know so we will continue to release updates prior to our big science feature update and hopefully a slower update cadence will mean that when they do go out they contain more robust improvements again a very awkward uh, sentence there so when their uh, minor updates release they should go out in a more of a robust state we're still working out what exactly that cadence looks like and i'll update you when i know more so personally i don't have a massive issue with a slowdown of patch releases that's by and large to be expected i'd like to see them releasing at the uh, previous cadence of three to four weeks but you know if they slow down five to six weeks is also fine uh, i think a gap, a gap of a uh, two months would be pushing it a little bit too much but a, a slower release cadence is fine as long as we know what's going on the silent treatment here is not something i like to see i would like to see um private division acknowledge that there are some significant performance issues i'd like to see them acknowledge that there are some game breaking bugs and confirm that they will be fixed in uh, up, update four update three update five or maybe they'll all be packed to, packed together and fixed in the science update or even you know just maybe it's a big long haul we're going to be seeing these performance problems for a very long time and who knows maybe we'll be experiencing for the rest of the year either way i think it's past time now that one of these development updates did address this it is the elephant in the room a lot of people are talking about it both on the steam reviews which have the very high negative review state even today it's mentioned constantly on these forums the official forums even in reply to this very thread by nate simpson you can see some of it on reddit although not too much i think that people are quite happy over on reddit just uh, getting on with the various community activities and just playing the game which is nice to see by the way so yeah um not at all the type of video i like to make i don't like to be negative about any games especially games that i like especially games that have a passionate community and games that do definitely have a passionate development team i've met mate simpson is a great guy i've met some of the other developers there private division intercept games all very nice people um nothing against them personally i just would like to see some of the pr and market speak being dropped here and a little bit of clarity going on to address that elephant in the room so yeah to summarize a slower release cadence is fine a few big updates per year i'm also okay with that maybe we'll only get one science update this year followed by the next step on the roadmap towards the end of the year or early next year I don't really mind how long it takes what i do mind and what i think quite a lot of people do mind is uh, the lack of clarity 
in what's going on with the very poor state of the current game. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Am I being too harsh here? Do you agree with me? Or do you think the release cadence shouldn't be slowed down? Are you happy with them at taking the time? Let me know in the comments section below. Always a pleasure to see you. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.